What's going on guys, it's Kingman, welcome back to the channel. Today we're showing you a solo slash duo outside of the map on Dome. So the first thing you want to have is the barricade. This is really important to do this glitch. So I'm going to be showing you solo way and duo way. So to do this, you want to line yourself up next to this bag on the floor and you want to look at this first rock. Just look at this first rock right here next to this bag, alright? So once you look at this rock, you then just want to slowly move forward until you see a kind of triangle like Dorito looking stone right there that one right there and then after that you then just want to move a tiny bit forward and you want to you'll see this like pattern on the floor but me and glitching point kind of call it a headphone like type of looking pattern and you want to look right in the middle of that right there so it's just a little bit above the Dorito looking stone and then once you're here you then just want to stand up just don't move and you want to look at these trees outside of the map right here but the main one you want to focus on is next to the burning building right here and that one there and you just want to spam X and then you want to spam X while pressing R1 and R1 and then you'll notice you can place the barricade perfectly in position the reason we actually line up like this and do this position is because this is the best position to get it one shot every time as you hear this is glitching point doing it as you see we both mastered the technique down and the position but once you or your friend has placed it up there on the sandbags, you can just place down your barricade, run and jump on it, and then get straight out of the map. For the next important thing I want to talk about is the controller sprint. So you want to go to your settings, go to controller, then go across to gameplay, and then go down to automatic sprint. So once you do that, if you have it off, you have to control your running and you have to time the jump more. But if you want to automatically run, but just time your jump, then have it on automatic. It depends on personal preference, but you want to aim around here when doing this glitch. So when you're running and jumping, you want to make sure you jump like quite late so you can have enough time to jump through the fake ceiling because you will smack your head a lot off the ceiling and this is hard and it does take a lot of practice to do. But as you see here, this is me doing it perfectly. I'm also going to show you it in slow motion. As you see here, I look towards that scaffolding with the end pole. I run and jump right at the end and then I manage to land on the edge of that barricade and then I manage to jump up. So this does take a lot of practice to do and if you want a challenge, go try it out guys on Dome right now, solo or duo. And once you're up here, you can literally explore, go outside the map. Unfortunately, we can't get on top, which is pretty annoying because it's quite high up to get to. But you can do it with a shotgun jump. But with the sprint guys, just choose one that's like personal preference to you. So I choose without it because I feel I can time it more. But it's really up to you guys if you prefer it with automatic sprint or without but that is it for today's video guys a uh, big credit to glitching point for helping me do the duo and also finding this glitch as well and yeah guys hope you enjoyed today's video smash the like button if you are new because we are posting absolutely sick glitches at the moment but yeah peace out